This is Beth with the McGurk Horton branch of the Greensboro Public Library. It's National Poetry Month, and what could be better than reading a book that's poetry, written about a poet, by a poet, about this poet's life. With a star in my hand is a novel written in verse which means that it's written in this poetic form. Reading a book in verse might sound difficult, but you get used to it pretty quickly, and it can be a pretty fast read. So this book is called With a Star in My Hand, Ruben Dario, Poetry Hero, and it's written by Margarita Engel. The author of this book, Margarita Engel, was the 2017 through 2019 Young People's Poet Laureate. She is the author of many novels and verse, and she is Cuban-American. A bit about the real person, the real poet, that this story is based on. He was born in Nicaragua, so all of his poetry was written in Spanish. He published his first book in 1888 when he was only 21 years old and he began writing poetry when he was much, much younger. The book begins with Ruben Dario being abandoned in the jungle by his mother. Abandoned. My first memory was one I could not understand until years later, playing with towering animals under a palm tree, all around me gentle eyes, feathery green fronds, and sticky tidbits of fruit stuck to cow lips. The cattle were smelly and friendly, just as hungry for palm fruit as I was for milk. Where did mama go? I was too young for a sense of time, but somehow I expected to be exiled forever in that musical tangle of thumping hoofs and clackety horns, my own wailing voice adding a flute-like magic to the noise. His adopted family inspires him to speak truthfully whenever he chooses, and words become his refuge. As a poet, he begins to change the poetry world in creating forms that work for him that haven't been written before. What he is doing is just letting verses flow, finding their way into musical rhythms that dance on natural air, tempest-tossed, wind-driven. Ruben Dario becomes famous throughout all of Central America in this book at a very young age. People from everywhere want him to write poems for them. He also gets in a bit of trouble because he speaks the truth and he speaks about the leaders of his country and they are not always happy about that. Words, my brave aunts insist, are weapons more effective than swords. A fun way to make poetry of your own and find a use for some old newspapers or an already damaged book is to make blackout poetry. To start, grab some pages from a book that's already been damaged, or you can use a newspaper, a pencil to circle words, and a permanent marker to black out words. Circle words that ring true to you. A poem can be made up of random words, a sentence. You can create a theme or not. You can choose words from part of a page or from all over the page. Take your marker and outline your words. After this, you can draw pictures, make shapes, or simply black out all the other words on the page. 
Let your creativity flow. There's not a right way to do this.